Good morning. My name is Donna Fiesel, and I'm one of the hosts on the Bama Bass Show, your buy and sell show, along with Scott Aikens and um, Fresh Faced, and I'm going to show you how I apply my makeup in the mornings. And then in the next show, you will be um, listening to Scott talk about how he applies his makeup. First thing I like to do is start with a clean face. I prepare my face the night before. And every two or three days, I like to use this product from Avon. It's called the Advanced Te Retexturizing Peel. P-E-E-L. Southern English sometimes. Can't understand what I'm saying. Um, what I do is I cleanse my skin. And then I use this little glycolic pad all over my face and under my neck. And what it does is it gets rid of the dead skin cells. And don't rinse after that. It's real easy to use. Then I apply my wrinkle and line corrector. This also is from Avon. Love this product. And then after that, I use my eye creams. And the eye cream I like to use is also from the new line from Avon. It's in the little purple jar. And it's really thick. So I really like the, the thickness of this as well. And then I finish off with my night cream, um, which is also from Avon. Um, if you want to place an order with me on this, I can, if you'll buy the eye cream, I will give you a 30-day supply of the day cream and the night cream and the cleanser. So it's a really, really good deal. Okay, now after that, in the mornings, what I do is apply my foundation. The foundation I use is also from Avon, and it's the Beauty Balm Cream. And what I like about this is it pretty much will it'll match your skin tone, and it comes in um, light, medium, and dark and don't use a lot of it because if you use a lot once you get to the age 50 mark um, all it will do is just accentuate the lines so what I do is just a small amount now in the winter time I only use this now in the summertime I will use this product and then I use a minerals makeup so just a little bit is all you need because what will happen is it'll get into the cracks and crevices and then it'll accentuate the lines and wrinkles. So we don't want that to happen. Now the next thing I do is I apply, I go ahead and start working on my eyes. Um, and this is a, this is a product from Avon. It's from the True Color and I'm using Healthy Glow because I like to go for the natural look. Now I have to go just a little bit heavier in the, on the TV station because the bright lights kind of accentuate and I'm very light complected and you won't even be able to see me. You'll hear a voice and you'll wonder, is there someone there talking? Now this is important to do. Um, I start off with the lighter color and this almost is a creamy, creamy color. And if you, let's say you haven't had a lot of sleep the night before, this will just brighten your eyes. Now don't go too cakey on it. Okay, then I go with the darker color, which is kind of a brown color and I will use that to create a contour. Okay, and it kind of gives me a little definition. So you can see what that's doing for me. Okay, and I really like um, Avon's 8 color palette. I use a darker color um, when I'm going on the shows just so I can show up and you can see you can see me there. Um, before I do that, though, I like to go ahead and start with the eyeliners. You can get your make, you can have your makeup applied in like less than five minutes. It's taking me a little longer because I'm stopping and I'm talking to you. So I'll start with just a bit of eyeliner, and I love the glimmer sticks from Avon because you don't waste anything and see it's retractable. I love Cosmic Brown. Now you can use any color you want to, and don't let anybody tell you that you can't use the colors that you'd like to use. It's all about you and what you feel comfortable with. It's your skin. Okay, I put just a small amount on the bottom because I don't want to create any kind of shadows or anything like that. So I just go from this corner right here to the middle with a little bit. And then I use my fingers for blending in. Okay, after I do that, then I apply my mascara. Now this is a new mascara from Avon. It's called Me Mega Effects. And I love this mascara. You just take the top off. This is the mascara brush, and it's really new, unique in the way it looks. I've never seen a brush like that before. Now, I will tell you, I didn't like it at first, because I like eyelash curlers. And the only thing, though, about using an eyelash curler is, see, you have eyelashes come out. And you can probably see some in there. Some little eyelashes. And you want to keep all the eyelashes you can, because it takes three months for those to grow back. Okay, now this is bendable. So, you know, whatever works for you. 
Okay, I start with the lashes at the top. And this, it just kind of creates thickness and you won't have clumps. And that's all it takes. Now, normally throughout the day, just a normal day, I'm not going on the show, I will wear, I will put on two layers of this. But now for the show, I'll do like four and five layers just so I can show up so you can see me there. Okay, now next step would be that the eyeshadows. Now, I'm going to tell you something Avon would probably get really ticked off at me if they knew I told you this. It's a little secret. If you would like for your eyeshadows and your blush to match, just use your eyeshadow pack. And I'm going with the browns right here at the very end. And I'm going to smile. And then I'll put the blush as the apple of my cheeks and see going up. See how that works. Okay. And then again. Okay. And then if you have a double chin, just a little bit, okay? Get just a little bit of the blush and do this. And it'll accentuate a line. And then if you like that sun-kissed look, go with the very top and then go down to your nose just like that. And a little bit on the chin. Looks like you've been out in the sun just a little bit. Okay. Now, I told you in the summertime, I like to use my minerals makeup. Especially getting in front of the camera because those bright lights will really shine in and give you the shiny look. You really don't want that. So I really love Avon's Smooth Minerals. And what I like about it is it's really unique. And so they have this little injector right here. So you're not going to get out too much and spill it. Because that's what I've done in the past. And, um, you know, once you spill it to the floor, you can't do anything with it anymore. So it's really cost effective for you. Okay, I'll apply just a bit. Like so. Okay. Then I've saved my brush from the blush. There's just a little bit of blush residue right here. On the, um, by the way, I love a brush like this because it's, see, it has a little slant like this and it makes it easier to apply. So here I go again, just a little more blush because when I've used the Smooth Minerals, what happens is it, you know, it kind of blends in my blush and you barely see it. Now you don't want to look like a showcase for a cosmetic counter. However, use your fingertips to blend it in. See, just like that. And it's always good to use your fingertips because of the warmness helps it to set on your skin. Okay. Now next step is going to be my lips. I have a thick bottom lip and a thin upper lip. So I'm showing you all my flaws. What I'm going to do is use my lip liner. And I'll camouflage. And you don't want to go overboard with this and look like a clown. However, you can just right here in the middle. create just a little bit of an arch. See, and it just gives you this automatic thickness. Then the bottom. And it gives you this automatic thickness without going overboard. Now what you want to do is get your finger, again, it's the, warm, the warmness of your finger tip, and that's going to set it and it'll blend it in. Okay, now my favorite lipstick, Instant Mocha. It's been around for at least the 70s. And I really like this because it's a, it's a neutral color and people are going for heavier on the eyes right now and just more a little more neutral on the lips with a little color. That's all there is to it. Okay, now for my brows. I use Avon's Glimmer Sticks, and I like the color Blonde. The color Blonde will give you more color than you think. And all I'm going to do is just shape my brows, and see, I'm not just drawing a straight line. I'm making these little, just little marks, like so. And what that will do is frame the eyes. Now with age, you start using, you start losing eyebrows. Okay, then I get an old mascara brush, okay, and then I just kind of brush everything into place. Okay, getting up this early in the morning, I should have done something to my hair before I got on to show you how to do my makeup. 
Okay, now I'm done with that. Now, mascara again. Another layer. See, I've given my mascara just a little time to dry. And then I'm going to apply just another layer. And I think I would like to bend my brush just a little bit. Now, I will warn you, when this first came out, I didn't like it. But now that I've used it, this was from years. Uh, see, this is the old mascara brush. And this is just years of applying it this way. But now that I'm used to it, I love this. Again, you don't have to use an eyelash curler. So you're saving eyelashes. Now for the show, I will put more. And this is just every day, okay? Alright, now I have another eyeshadow brush that I use just to blend my eyeshadows. So you want everything, all the, the colors to blend in. Okay. Now, I'm getting... I'm going to use the darker brush again. I color code mine. I use this. I always know this is for the darker colors and this is for the lighter colors. Okay, I'm going to use a charcoal. Let's pretend this is for the show or let's pretend you're going to a party and you're leaving the office and it's really simple. All you have to do is just apply a little bit of the dark. It's almost like you're making a triangle. And see how much more the eyes show up and it gives you a little more of a dramatic look. Okay. I'm going to challenge you to put your eye makeup on without opening your mouth. It's hard to do. Okay, and then again my blending brush. Because see what's going to happen. If you don't, then you do, you're sticking out there. You want to look as natural as possible. And then after the brush, fingers again. Okay, and that's it. I hope you learned something and would love for you to watch us on the show. You can go to facebook.com forward slash W-O-L-W video. You can catch me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash D Fiesel. And Fiesel is spelled F as in Frank, E-A, Z as in Zebra, E-L-L. -L. And we would love to hear from you. Let me know what you think about this, okay? Bye.